third leg action of the Brian Jerome Memorial Claiming Series for $10,000 claimers highlighted the Sunday night card at Riedel Carlson Raceway. Let's take a look at the action. City Shark at 6-1 to one is trying to go all the way, trying to dispose of Thundering Jim, watching Raisin a Rocket moving well out of the backfield. Right on that one's back is Debunka. Too much Duncan has saved ground. There's an eighth of a mile to go, and it's Sin City Shark trying to get it home on the outside. Here comes Raisin a Rocket. Raisin a Rocket and Giganya timed this one perfectly to win it. Horses all across the track for the lesser shares. The mile, 154 and 4. Seven Raisin a Rocket, the winner. She's a Bay Mare, six years old by Matta Rocket, out of All American Orchid by Camlock. Jeff Taylor held the papers. Mandy Archer, the winning trainer, the winning drive to Gigagnon. Raisin a Rocket in 154 and 4. That equals her season's record. 26 and 3, 56 and 1, 125 and 2, the mile 154 and 4, raising a rocket first. Night Club Hanover has a visitor. It's Red John, second on the outside. Reddit Hanover is right there, pacing in third. American Paradise is putting in a big one from fourth. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Here comes Red John to take over. Red John takes the lead. Back to second is Nightclub Hanover. Reddit Hanover has pace, as does American Paradise. Here is the wire. Gagne takes both ends of the double. This time it's Red John by five in the end. The mile 153 and four. For Red John, the winner. He's a big yelding, six years old by Mach 3. Out of Bellamy's Love by Arts Place. Owned by Bill Maines, Steve Papillon, Limco Incorporated and a numbered Ontario Corporation. The winning trainer, Victor Putty. Guy Gagne goes back to back on the cart and sweeps the double. It was Red John in 153 and four. That's a new season's record, 26 and three, 55 and three, 124, the mile 153 and four, Red John in race two. Gata, still the leader, getting closer second, the magic of life. AB's LMC Mass Gem is live in the pocket now. And Mr. Contestant is a closer fifth as they turn at the top of the lane. Cascada will try to close this one out. The magic of life is still coming. Mr. Contestant on the outside, LMC Mass Gem up the rail, coming for the payoff. Cascada is fully extended on the inside. Here comes LMC Mass Gem right on pass to win it. LMC Mass Gem the winner, Mr. Contestant second. Second tight for show, the mile 158 and 3. 3 LMC Mass Gem, the winner. He's a big gelding, 6 years old by Muscle Mass, out of Hornby Gem by Cadabra. Co-owned by Jacques Baudouin, who was the winning driver for Andre Baudouin, Maurice Uhl, Ron Charette. The winning trainer, Joanne Bejin. LMC Mass Gem for his first win in 25 season efforts. Tonight's mile 158 and 3, 27 and 3, 58 and 1, 128 and 4, the mile 158 and 3 LMC Mass Gem with Baudouin in the third. Luke and Duke takes over. Big Pete style back to second. Salzbrook, Lanny is third. Western Phil trapped in fourth. Mako Polo is moving well out of the backfield. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Luke and Duke and Gagne are simply cruising here. Luke and Duke is going, going. Gone. Luke and Duke by five in the end. Finishing second, Salzburg Lanny, the mile 154 and one. Two Luke and Duke, the winner. He's a big elding eight years old by Mach 3 out of Lynn Mary by Camlock. Owned, trained, and driven to victory by Guy Gagne. For Gagne, that's his third winning drive on the card. He guided Luke and Duke to his seventh win on the season. Tonight's mile, 154 and one. Guy's partner with Luke and Duke is Jean Laroche. The fractions were 28, 57, 126, and 2, the mile 154, and 1, Luke and Duke in the fourth. 
up a two length lead, always your way. Zenda Valley Keel is still there from second. On the inside, Barn One is third. They get to the top of the lane. Always your way, trying to close this one out. Zenda Valley Keel from second. Barn One is third. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Always your way kicks away now. Always your way draws off with ease. Always your way, a wrapped up winner by five in the end. He's under the line in 153 and two. Send to Bally Keel second, Barn one third. Six Always Your Way, the winner. He's a seven year old Bay Gelding by Always a Virgin out of Penny Arcade by Artscape. Was owned by Joanne Ducharme, trained by Claude Beausoleil, driven to victory by the Black Cat, Richard Simard. Always your way to a season's best 153 and 2, 27 and 2, 56 and 2, 125 the mile, 153 and 2. Always your way trounces them in the fifth. First working on speed to market as Levi's Day is right up alongside. Twin B Laker is situated second over. Best of best Hanover is looking live for Pouliot. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Levi's Day taking over the lead. Watching for best of best Hanover on the outside. Twin B Laker coming for the payoff. It's Levi's Day up the inside. Best of best Hanover. Levi's Day needs the line. He finds it just in time. The mile was 155 and two. To Levi's Day, the winner. He's a five-year-old brown gelding by Shadow Play out of Kim's Royal Day by Royal Majesty. He's owned by Bill Maines, Lloyd Stone, a numbered Canadian corporation, along with trainer Victor Putty. Victor Putty from Mountain, Ontario. That's Guy Gagnon's fourth winner on the card. He guided Levi's Day to victory in 155 and 2. 26 and 4, 56 and 4, 125 and 3, the mile 155 and 2. Levi's Day and Gagnon race 6. <laughs> ripped and ready, still in charge. See you, men is sitting second, check the magic is third. Nowhere to be found is less 10% with an eighth of a mile to go and Ripped and Ready has the racetrack all to himself. It's Ripped and Ready by five, six and expanding that margin. Chasing from second is See You Men. Coming for the payoff, it's all Ripped and Ready. Finishing second, See You Men, check the magic third in 155 and three. Ripped and Ready, the seventh race winner. He's a Bay Colt, three years old by Muscle Mass, that have come in first by Striking Sabra. Owned by Dr. Ruth Irving, trained by Thierry Vanden Plas, driven to victory by Pascal Barube. Ripped and ready to victory in 155 and three. That's his sixth win on the season. The mile was 27 and four, 58 and one, 127 and one, the mile 155 and three. <laughs> Ashley's best, Stonebridge Beach getting together. Sir Galahad watching that pair from third. St. Lad's Cash is on the outside fourth with an eighth of a mile to go. Ashley's best has been sent to the front and trying to go all the way. Ashley's best, Mike Healy on the outside. Late pace from Stonebridge Beach, but Ashley's best is too strong. It's Ashley's best to win it. Finishing second Stonebridge Beach, followed by St. Lad's Cash and Sir Galahad in 155 and two. Ripped and ready, the seventh race winner. He's a Bay Colt, three years old by Muscle Mass, that have come in first by Striking Sabra. Owned by Dr. Ruth Irving, trained by Thierry Vanden Plas, driven to victory by Pascal Barube. Ripped and ready to victory in 155 and three. That's his sixth win on the season. The mile was 27 and four, 58 and one, 127 and one, the mile 155 and three. Ella Malted is still the target. Quick talking is the major danger with the Framboise. Pulling the pocket with an eighth of a mile to go. Now here comes Quick Talkin' up to engage Vanilla Malted for the lead. Quick Talkin' with tons of pace on the outside. Vanilla Malted battling back. Quick Talkin' or Vanilla Malted. Vanilla Malted and Quick Talkin' to the end. Vanilla Malted guts it out to win. Quick Talkin' second. Silverado third in 154 and three. To Ashley's Best, the winner, a brown horse, four years old, by Shanghai Phil out of Donbrey Ashley, by Presidential Ball. 
Owned by Mark Hebert. Trained by Richard Hebert, Mike Healy, the winning driver. Ashley's best to his third win of the season in 11 starts. Tonight's mile 155 and 2, 26 and 4, 57, 126 and 4, the mile 155 and 2. Still going strong with the lead from second, quick talking, Canadian edition, third on the outside. They're by three quarters in 127. Vanilla Malted is still the target. Quick talking is the major danger with the Framboise pulling the pocket with an eighth of a mile to go. Now here comes Quick Talkin' up to engage Vanilla Malted for the lead. Quick Talkin' with tons of pace on the outside. Vanilla Malted battling back. Quick Talkin' or Vanilla Malted. Vanilla Malted and Quick Talkin' to the end. Vanilla Malted guts it out to win. Quick Talkin' second. Silverado third and 154 and three. Seven, six, your high five in the tenth. The winner of the 10th was number two, Jenna C, making it back-to-back -back wins at Rideau Carlton. He's an 11-year-old brown gelding by Better's Delight out of Twin B Intimate by the Panderosa. Owned by Matthew McDonald, Peter Kircher, and Kirk Robillard, and Marie Turen, the winning trainer, the winning drive to Tyler Jones. Jenna C in 157, 27 and 2, 57 and 1, 126 and 2, the mile 157. Jenna C in the 10th. Multiple wins once again for leading rangeman at Rideau Carlton Raceway, Guy Gagno, and also multiple claims as a record night at Rideau Carlton as track management processed 57 claims. Our next live program Thursday afternoon, first post time, 4 o'clock, CNN.